Okay, so hey there, technology friends. You know, um, I don't do all the platforms, but I shall upload this to YouTube. So hey, YouTube uh, friend person that clicked me on. Hey, how you doing? You doing good? Yeah, you know, usually I be spending my time over on Facebook, you know. That's just how my mental works. And so uh, I was hanging out with my YouTube, you know, fellas. They don't know it. But you know how you just, you know, hang out with people who you, you know, are drawn to and you like what what you hear. And so I heard this phrase, emotional masturbation. And I know what it, I know what masturbation is. And I do, you know, who of us don't secretly, you know, admittedly, I indulge in masturbation. Um uh, yeah. I mean, you know, this may be not age appropriate, but truth be told, you know, I feel like this. Now, when God designed Adam and Eve, and Adam was, you know, in his own world, and Eve was over here discovering everything about life, and, you know, Eve was filling herself up, and, you know, and it don't take much to get that region of the, you know, body pleasure. And so I imagine that Eve, you know, the first woman of us all, Masturbated quite a bit and was talking to God and was like, what is this feeling that I am feeling? But I heard a phrase, emotional masturbation. Now, because you know, when you physically masturbate, that's a whole lot of pleasure and a whole lot of feeling and a whole lot of wonderment feeling, right? But emotional masturbation? Somebody said that, you know, they avoid, you know, the realities of life and they don't want to deal with it. You know, the realities of life because it feels like emotional masturbation. And, ooh. But I made notes. Is that too much feeling? Yeah. You don't deal with your problem because it's too much feeling to deal with? No. Emotional masturbation and it's too much feeling. Take control of your thoughts, of your, you know. So I made notes. So everybody minds keep on going. Who mind turn on? Yeah, you'd be like, am I the only person who thinks this way? Why do I think such a way? And then, you know, you get overwhelmed with thoughts and you kind of, you know, get in that standstill moment and you're on autopilot and you're just going about life, but the world is building up like a clutter, like this motherfucker living like borderline a hoarder. Clean up your life, motherfucker. Yeah, just going about life on auto autopilot. So to combat that, even though I haven't cleaned up my room. Shit, I was busy doing everything else, right? I'm going to get to it, but it's not such, you know, how I sound. Give you a walkthrough. And, yeah, back it off for you. For the most part, when you click me or when you come through that door, I have done my chores, you know, and I cleaned that out. But what I had not done, which you shall see. Yeah, I suppose I do have a little bit of emotional baggage to wear. I got the time to do it. Well, I know, spinning you around. Sorry about that. I got the time to do it, but I'm in, instead, you know, I make time for other things, other activities, because I, I was crafting, doing something else, and when I finish, I'll show it to you, yeah, so anyway, um, let me get to it, but in getting to it, I spent a whole lot of time, how I say, practice what you preach, right, I'm the wrong person to be talking about this because I haven't cleaned up my room. But the thing is, I don't let the I don't let my whole world go into, you know, right? Yeah, I just keep one portion of my world in disarray. But the rest of the house, I keep. Yeah, I was on, you know, get cute a little bit, but I wasn't. I wasn't on here for vanity to try to look cute and you know, bringing my world to you. I just want to share thought and thought be this. Everybody minds, it don't stop. Don't stop, won't stop, get it, get it. Yeah, it keep going. Like, 
trying to catch your thoughts, trying to wrangle it in, and they keep going down different rabbit holes. Yeah, every everybody minds works like that. Yeah, so in case you was wondering, like. Am I the only person that thinks this way? Yeah, you're the only person that thinks this way. Because we are all, you know, individual, unique, right? So everybody, mind, you know, keep going and going and going in different directions. And nobody thinks like another person thinks, you know. But we are all more alike than unalike. Right? Let me know. Figure that one out. So we channel, lead, direct our thoughts. You got a channel, you lead it, and you direct it so that you don't let you, the rest of your life run them up. If you're spending, look, if you can say, oh, I spent uh, eight hours doing this, I spent eight hours doing this, and I spent I spent eight hours outside, I spent eight hours at work, and I spent eight hours sleeping. Well, how much time do you spend cleaning your house? Get it at least 30 minutes a day? You would be, no, no. Because if you are an at-home wife, she better not give your house just 30 minutes a day. Yeah, you got to give... Look, if you're out uh, at home, you know, contender, partner, yeah. You ain't, your husband bringing home the bacon and you just, you know, staying home, making your home a happy home, keeping the nest clean up. Okay, that's it. That's all I have to say. <laughs>